Kenya's ultimatum for the closure of the two refugee camps was first brought to the attention of the UNHCR in 2021. The ultimatum called on the refugee agency to develop a comprehensive plan to close the Kakoma and the Dab refugee camps by the end of June this year. Previous efforts to close the camps yielded little, with many saying it was unsafe for refugees to return to their homeland. Somalia sees Kenya as a uh, as an uh, hostile neighbor. Kenya sees Somalia as a hostile neighbor. So the refugees have been used as a political tool for some time to try to win concessions, to try to pressure the government. And I think it's unlikely that's going to be closed, in uh, my personal opinion. 2.5, and I'm sorry. Terrified and shocked are some of the words that describe the fear of refugees about the impending shutdown. For hundreds who have for years called this place home, the imminent closure can only put their future at stake. According to the UNHCR, the number of refugees and asylum seekers in Kenya stood at 552,061 as of May 2021. Over 230,000 are under the care of the UN Refugee Agency in Dadaab and another 230, 954 live in Kakuma. Majority of the refugees are from Somalia, DRC, and South Sudan. It's feared that the closure of the place they have come to call home could have a wider impact on the overall protection of refugees in Kenya. UNHCR says it will continue to seek dialogue with the Kenyan government to allow for a sustainable solution. Daniel Arab Moy, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.